Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I heard Aries, my name is Chelsea and this is the channel where we do all Aries readings. I was sitting here meditating and then all of a sudden the sun just came through the clouds and I was like, ah, what a beautiful time. You can see my chill bumps because I keep it freezing in my house. What a beautiful time to do a reading with the sun coming through like this. Yes, light, yeah, glow. <laughs> All right, so let's get into the weekly reading, the weekly energy reading. If you caught the live with me a little earlier, there's a little surprise for you on there um, for the people who watch. All right, so let's get into it. For Aries, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guys and Angels, please allow me to deliver a clear message here for the Aries Collective, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. So we're going to start here. I pulled from the self-love oracle, okay, and also from the chakra oracle, I think it's called as well. They both are chakra. Um, they all both have chakra recommendations. This is the gift of connection. The gift of connection and the chakra focus here is the crown chakra. And then also from this deck, we got the third eye chakra. And it says, it is safe for you to see the energy of love in all forms, such as angels, auras, and visions. And then the gift of connection here obviously talks about connection with other humans, okay? So it's not about so much as endings and beginning of relationships, but it could be if it's time to transition out of certain relationships and start new relationships. There could be new relationships or friendships that are coming into your awareness. Your third eye is going to allow you to understand or um, interpret which ones are good for you and healthy for you or are in alignment for you. But also the, the gift of connection card also talks about being very conscious of everyone that you meet this week. Being very intentional when you smile at people or finding something good about everyone that you come into contact with without any type of, um, what is that? I just keep seeing something, Sh uh, strategicness, strategy, or just any kind of implications, just pureness of finding someone or seeing someone and looking within them, right? Just finding something good about everybody that you meet this week. Okay, it's my bracelet I keep seeing. In the corner of my eyes, the reflection. Okay, the next card that we pulled, I got the from the fairy tarot is the magician. This is the energy for the week from the tarot, the magician. It says you can do anything, take charge of your life. You can manifest what you need to be a success this week. So the magician says that you have all the tools at your disposal to create or manifest whatever you desire. You do not have to go outside of yourself. You do not have to search for anything else. You already have it. You already have it. So also from the African goddess rising, you have Name and it is the card of desire. Number eight. Also the number of abundance here. <clears throat> and then from the self-love activation oracle, you have the card of evolution. Okay. And it says, you realize that obstacles are merely lessons on your path to love. Beautiful energy here. Let's take a look here at number eight, Name. And it is the card of desire. All right. Goddess of desire. Um, the temple is from the conjurers. The element is air. She is a triple moon goddess of the Ashanti. Every new day, this mother goddess rebirths the sun shooting life into us with her moon bow her lunar rays illuminate souls her guidance says dream bigger puny desires constrict you your desires create your life so allow them to flow boldly the embodiment what do you really desire get specific see it smell it feel it call it in now what you desire desires you does your desire flow from love or fear manifestations that come from a fear-based Desires keep you safe and small. Desires that come from your soul expand your world. The goddess declaration is what I desire desires me. Something that I wanted to start this reading with and I forgot, but this brought it to my awareness. Um, if you have any Gemini placements right now, uh, Jupiter has entered the sign of Gemini. You'll find a lot of luck there um, for the next, specifically here the next few weeks, 
But for Gemini, risings, um, moon, or sun, until, I want to say until May or June, okay? Gemini will be in the sign of Jupiter, which is the sign of luck and abundance, one of the luckiest planets. So see where that is in your chart and what that what house that is in and see where you can find a bit of luck in your life, okay? Let's get into it. Let's pull the Kipper here for the week ahead. I just want to bask in the sun because it just feels so warm and nice. I'm going to go sit on the porch after this. All right. Give us, what are the themes here for the week ahead for Aries this week? What are the themes here for Aries for the week ahead? You got, excuse me, you got this main female card. Okay. Could be new friends new lovers that did come out in the next 48 i believe you have distant horizons number 36 it's coming towards aries this week there's the energy coming towards aries this week in reverse you have bad health okay so definitely with this new moon in virgo that could be something where anything physical health maybe mental but more so physical could be healing you could be getting some good news about your health. Let's see here. Two more cards for Aries for the week ahead. Marriage, number three. One more. And number 17, you have gift. Gift can be spiritual gifts. This could be a surprise, a blessing, a monetary gift here. Something is being given to you very unexpectedly. Distant horizons could mean someone is visiting, contacting you long distance. There could be long distance travels. There could also be a situation that is finally coming to an end that you have been dealing with for a long time. There could be a specific feminine energy in your life that could be, could be significant this week or this could be you aries okay we talked about bad health in reverse obviously the healing of something getting a good news about a health ailment and then marriage this could be proposals being invited to a wedding a marriage this could have to do with your own relationship or business partnerships the marriage card can also represent business partnerships so let's pull one card for each of these and see what's going on here this week All right, tell us about main female. Literally, main, oh goodness. We have the chariot and the three of swords. Um, tell us about the distant horizons. Sounds like literally somebody can come, be coming towards you, distant horizons. Hermit, Virgo energy. We have bad health in reverse. Six of cups. We have the marriage card. Tell me about this. We have the Knight of Cups. Tell me about gift. Three, whoa, shit. <laughs> Three of Cups. Celebrations, parties, gatherings. Something that makes someone very happy. All right, tell us about this main female with the Chariot and the Three of Swords. What is this about? Ace of Pentacles. Tell me more about the Chariot, Three of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. Give me one more for that energy. Two of Pentacles. So the way I'm seeing it here with this um, female, okay? Uh, main female. Chariot, Three of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. Looks like this could be somebody coming towards someone. Either they don't have the best intentions they don't have the best intentions with the three of swords or they've already done something that was very hurtful. If it's a significant other, they could have cheated and now they're coming back for a new beginning, wanting to rebuild, but something is still not right. Same if it's a friend, you know, they're coming to, towards you knowing that they've done something shady or hurtful, wanting a new beginning, wanting to be, rebuild, but they're not telling the full story or something is extremely unbalanced with this situation. I was going to say when I saw the chariot here, this distant horizons definitely could go with this main female. And then with that, I'm seeing the hermit making the wise decision. This could also 
will be a Virgo energy. We also have Cancer with that. Six of Cups, I'm just seeing here some good news. Now, although this could definitely be about your child or children, right? The Six of Cups here is a loving energy here, reciprocated childhood memories or someone from your past who could be dealing with health issues, but I'm seeing something heal up. The Marriage card, Knight of Cups, Romantic Proposals. This could be the meeting of someone who is very romantic that could lead to marriage. Oh my God, I just saw Bruno over there. That could lead to marriage of some way, way or someone who is wanting to kind of like wine and dine you. Let's clarify that marriage, Knight of Cups, just to see what kind of time this Knight of Cups is on. Absolutely. So yeah, this definitely could be the meetings, the beginning stages of meeting someone who definitely sees marriage in the future. Like this is the happily ever after card. Four of Wands is a marriage or proposal card, okay? Tell me about the gift. I'm seeing Three of Cups. Three of Cups could be weddings, celebrations, parties, bridal showers, um, baby showers, things like that. So there could be some good news of a gift. Good news that has been anticipated with the Three of Wands, Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So there could be something that you've been waiting to hear good news about. You're going to get it or you have the feeling that it is coming and it is coming with the Three of Wands and the Ten of Cups. And I'm seeing here the Three of Cups as well. So beautiful energy here. Great week to definitely manifest and to expect positive and good news in the areas of health love and blessings here with the gift card here be careful of anyone maybe specifically feminine energies who's wanting to come back towards you um maybe under the guise of wanting to make up or repair a friendship or a relationship they still may not have the best intentions at heart so let's go back to this the gift of connection crown chakra third eye make sure that you are going within especially with any connections that are coming towards you so you make the right decision when people come towards you and want your energy of any kind okay all right all right let's take a look here this is for aries we're going to take a look at your finances first financial Let's get an abundance card for you. Abundance, abundant, abundance message for you for the week ahead. Advice. My tattoo is still peeling, but it's coming through. It's healing. I need to put something on it. All right. Let's take a look here. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Ooh, that, wow. Cards are coming right out. Ooh, I'm going to leave it because spirit doesn't make any mistakes, honey. All right, the first card here, you take one that resonates with you or they might all three by the end of the week, okay? So the first card that came out is Quiet Retreat. Quiet Retreat. And it says it's time to disconnect from outer the outer world so that you can discern and process your true thoughts and feelings from your inner world. Create this quiet time for yourself and you'll have more clarity about what to do next. Your next abundance oracle card, this came. This card came out and it came out in reverse. And it says detox your friendships. Friendships, yeah, detox your friendships. Your abundance flow is being affected by people with whom you're spending time. So be discerning about your associations and relationships. Choose to be with people who are inspiring, generous, and supportive. Now, if you don't feel that way about anyone right now in your life, I do get the feeling with that chariot and three of swords that this could be someone trying to re-enter into your life, okay? If you know you have good people around you right now, this could be about someone trying to re-enter, okay? We also have the power of prayer. The power of prayer. Give this situation to God for uplifting and healing and be open to miracles. Heaven's unlimited resources, love, and answers are awaiting your prayers. Be sure to act upon the divine guidance God gives you um, in response to your prayers. So it's like, you know, you ask for something and then you don't like the answer, right? So you're not really open or receptive to the uh, answers that are coming to you. So just be open to everything because you never know what those answers are leading you to Aries, okay? Let's take a look at Aries finances for the week ahead. Financial situation for the week ahead for Aries. Thank you so much. 
Holy Spirit, so guys, an angel. Thank you so much. Bruno, cut it out. All right, this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. For the week ahead. Bruno is something else, yeah. Tell us about Aries financial energy here for the week ahead. Give us the main energy. We have the tower. Okay. Tell us about any challenges. Eight of Cups. Tell us about advice from spirit. Three cards came out. The Chariot, the Hierophant, and the Strength. Three major arcanas came out from your, in your advice from Spirit. So Spirit is really trying to tell you something here, Aries. Even at the bottom of the deck is the Devil. Tell us about the outcome in Aries' financial situation here. For the week ahead, two cards came out. We have the Nine of Wands in reverse and the King of Swords. Okay. Let's clarify... Mm. One second. There's a card and I'm missing it. Ugh. There it is. Okay. All oh, this is moving around. All right. All right. Definitely needed this card. Ace of Pentacles. All right. Let's see here. This is for Aries. Sun, moon, Venus, and rising for Aries. What is happening here for the week ahead for Aries? One more shuffle. Clarify the tower in Aries' financial situation for the week ahead. We have the Hermit, okay. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. We have the Sun. Beautiful energy. Tell us about the advice from Spirit, the Strength, Six of Pentacles, Hierophant, the Death card, and, oh, that came right out, the Chariot. <clears throat> Nine of Wands in reverse. Seven of Pentacles and the King of Swords. Six of Wands. Beautiful energy. Ten of Pentacles here. Give us one more here for this tower. I wonder if this is something you've done in the past. And this is coming out now in fruition. Doesn't feel bad. Tell us about the tower. Yeah, I didn't. Doesn't feel bad at all. Nine of Wands. All right. So I am seeing here. There's some sort of shocking news or change here, something that is uncovered or unraveled in your financial situation. When I saw the hermit, right, this could be some sort of, when we're talking about finances, financial advisor, getting advice from someone, okay? Um, I see this in a few different ways, right? Um, and then we have the nine of pentacles, two, three nines actually, three nines, nine of pentacles, nine of wands. Um, so the first thing that I'm seeing in this situation, there could be a decision that you made in the past that now all of a sudden there is some sort of outcome. Financial gain, because I'm seeing the nine of pentacles. This is financial abundance, luxury, independence. Nine of wands says that it took a long time for you to get here. And now all of a sudden, boom, the tower, something drastically changes. So maybe you made a wise, wise decision. You listened to someone in the past. You felt like their advice wasn't great. But now all of a sudden you're seeing something manifest very, very quickly for you to realize that 
it actually did turn out okay, right? Because the Nine of Wands says there was some sort of struggle or needing to have firm boundaries or discipline and through a situation because something was difficult. And now you're seeing here something shocking or you're getting some sort of word or communication here this week about something finally paying off in some way, okay? I'm also seeing this as someone, a drastic change in your job, in your career, and all of a sudden now you're seeing that you made the right decision, okay? You removed yourself from a situation or a job or career. You went in your own direction here. And the nine of pentacles and the nine of wands, maybe in the beginning you didn't see it panning out for you because the nine of wands could be a struggle at first, but the nine of pentacles now says that you are financially independent, secure, and um, reaping the rewards of the benefits of whatever you've done, right? The tower is just kind of like a it happens all at once. It's shocking. It feels like it happens all at once. Also, it's also the situation of something being uncovered very quickly in order to save you or protect you. So it could be something within your job, your work, or your business where all of a sudden something is the removed, the veil is removed, the disguise is removed, something that was done behind the scenes is removed. So you're, un you're able to see something very quickly, right? Because the tower strikes or that lightning bolt strikes within the tower, right? As a form of protection. So something that was built on a not so sturdy foundation, all of a, all of a sudden comes unraveled very quickly, but that's in order to protect you, okay? And in some cases, that could be you joining partnerships with someone. And spirit has been telling you, this is not a good thing, you shouldn't do this, right? And you're not getting that, intui that intuitive, nudge you're not getting that intuitive message so something all of a sudden happens where it is very clear that you don't need to work with someone right and you become independent it may be a little struggle but it's going to be more lucrative for you on the other side that's just one example okay but i'm seeing here where there is kind of like a blow up of energy here as far as enlightenment goes and you're making the right decision or the right decision was made previously and now it's paying off making sure this mic is on because I do that a lot. I bump it a lot. The challenge in this situation was the eight of cups in the sun. So this talks about it was very difficult for you to emotionally remove yourself from something. But the moment that you did, you know, it could have been something was enlightened. You were enlightened about a situation and you know you had to leave a situation because that's the thing. Once you get intuitive downloads, you have to listen or, you know, shit really will hit the fan. So it could either be one or two things, right? You were enlightened about a situation and you know you had to remove yourself emotionally or walk away from something. And that was very difficult because there was some sort of attachment or it was just very difficult for you to remove yourself from something areas. But once you did, you saw that it was for your highest good and your be and the best, okay? I'm seeing the advice from spirit willpower, discipline, okay, inner strength, listening or remembering the spiritual lessons that have gotten you in a situation or through a situation and moving forward, no matter how difficult it is, will get you on top, okay? That's kind of what I'm seeing here because the high priestess is literally clarifying the chariot, which is listening to your, your, your intuition to continue to move forward about a situation. There's something here with the death card and the hierophant where you're going through some sort of major spiritual transformation and growth that is affecting your finances in some way. To me, it looks like a leveling up or moving on from something so you can increase your financial status right? The strength card and the six of pentacles here, you are getting what you deserve in a, a situation, but not until, right? You move forward from something else. Okay. And so that could have been the struggle is that maybe you felt like your finances were, ugh, but you know, you, you just, let me see, let me say this. Maybe there was some sort of fear based Thing going on you're afraid to start something new you finally start something new and you realize oh, okay this is what I had to do this is why my money was stuck in the outcome nine of wands is in reverse letting your guard down making a wise intelligent decision here with the king of swords mastering something coming out on top six of wands very successful and then I'm seeing the seven of pentacles something about in investment prospering or paying off okay 
So yes, you go from the six to the seven of pentacles. I'm seeing the nine of pentacles. So I don't know, Aries, something very drastic here. This could be a, a change of luck in your finances after a period of just feeling like nothing was working out and you feel like you were struggling. Um, and so you were afraid to move forward, but something in you pulls you forward anyway, right? You just keep moving forward anyway. And then you start to see yeah, I should have been moved forward or yeah, I should have been left this company or yeah, I should have been started this creative project, you know, and now boom, here it is taking off more than something else that I was doing. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at doo -doo -doo, the person on your mind. I haven't used these in a while. Let's take a look here at the person on your mind. This is for Aries and the person on their mind. What's happening for Aries and the person on their mind? So you have camera, somebody stalking, reminiscing, keepsakes, perception, learn from the past, making memories. Soulmates, okay. Soul connection, partnership, agreement, and soul contract. The chaser, Co chaser and codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. We have mask, okay? Not showing true self, not showing true feelings, hide, personify, pretend, delude, and gaslighting. Let's pull one more. Hey, Bruno, what's up? <laughs> Bruno just runs up when he needs attention. <laughs> Hello, what's going on? Yeah. The last card you have is love call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. But this did come in reverse. This one was the only one that came in reverse. So let's pull for one of these each, okay? Let's see what's going on here. You can't, you can't get up there. You can't, you want me to pick you up and I can't. Hey. Hey. <laughs> we don't need your Scorpio energy getting in the reading, Bruno. Go ahead, back up. <laughs> Can you believe somebody commented that one day and said how we don't how we don't know that that's not your dog's energy? <laughs> that's too funny. All right. Okay, every way you're trying to get up here, that's enough. Let's take a look. What's going on here for Aries? He is persistent, huh? Mass. All right. So Aries. Someone is thinking about the happier times that they had with you and vice versa. Maybe you're thinking about that as well with someone. I'm seeing the camera and the four of wands. This could be a twin flame energy. Um, but I am seeing here where somebody else is watching, reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past, making memories. Four of Wands is a happy time of celebrations, happiness in the home and stability. When I'm seeing soulmates, I'm seeing the three of swords. Somebody is heartbroken. It's a soul boy. If you don't get down it is a soulmate who is heartbroken. Maybe there was a third party situation, a disappointment, or it just could not work out. There was some sort of heartbreak. Okay. Um, the chaser here with the six of swords, it feels like either someone is no longer chasing. Okay. Six of swords moving on to calmer waters here, codependent relationship, trying to move on, trying to heal with the six of swords and, um, the chaser card. 
or they are coming back around, right? Wanting to smooth things over. The next thing I'm seeing though is the mask. Page of Cups, okay? This is emotional communication or an experience here. So someone is not showing their true feelings, hide, personify, pretend. Feels like somebody wants to reach out and communi communicate. Um, Y'all see his beautiful, he, Bruno has a new harness, be Beetlejuice. Wants to communicate, but with the Five of Cups, with the Five of Cups and the love, love call in reverse, it's like they're pretending like they don't want to talk. They're pretending like they don't want to talk, but they're sad. They're sad and they're regretful about something ending. So I don't know if both of you are not speaking to each other. One has walked away, but I'm getting the sense somebody is watching somebody happy, enjoy their lives, or even with somebody else or married. They feel like you two were soulmates, but there's somebody who's heartbroken about the connection. They're trying to move on to karma waters. Let's clarify the six of swords. Or could China be coming? I don't feel like they're coming back to make peace. I feel like they want to. But the two of pentacles, there's an instability <laughs> staring at me like, bitch, why are you not showing me attention? Two of pentacles and the six of swords here. It's like they want to come towards you. Ace of pentacles in reverse. But they're not. They're trying to move on. Tell us about the page of cups three of wands. I feel like this person is waiting for you to reach out Aries or have a communication, but with the mask card, they're hiding that they're hiding that they're even wanting that love call in reverse five of cups. They could be upset that you have not reached out seven of cups, missing you Knight of wands and the Knight of cups. Interesting. This looks like somebody who is trying to mask their feelings with other people. Okay, so meaning like they're sad about one situation, but in order to cover that up, mask that, they are going off to be in other romantic relationships or sexual encounters with the Knight of Wands, Seven of Cups, lots of options, feelings, and emotions to try to mask what they are feeling for you, Aries, okay? So somebody is kind of like, they're your soulmate, but there's some sort of heartbreak here. They're watching you be happy or watching you have something else. They're not coming towards you, right? To them, they would feel like that is some sort of loss if they came towards you. Um, so that means that they could be very much in their ego, but they're wanting you and waiting for you to communicate three of wands, page of cups. Doesn't look like, oh, I don't know if you are or not, but you know, I'm not even going to pull on that because you know, if you are or not, like, you know what I'm saying? That could be different for everyone, but you know, that that's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. Somebody is very much like they want you. But it's like they want you to want, th they want you to want them. So I don't know about that, Aries. All right, let's take a look at single Aries. This reading has gone by very fast. Did we miss something? <laughs> let's take a look. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus, and rising single Aries. What's coming towards single Aries? What's coming towards our single Aries? Could be a darker male, darker complexion, darker than lighter, doesn't matter the race. We have a mature woman, socialite, connector, high society, fair male. Okay, we got some people. Few people coming in. Beauty queen. So you got dark male, darker than lighter, fair male, lighter than darker. <laughs> they could be a mixed, mixed person, mixed individual, but I'm seeing like both genders, definitely, right? So this could just be, when I'm seeing here, socialite, connector, high society, single Aries doesn't necessarily mean that it's like love coming in, but it definitely feels like where you are shining in some capacity okay let's go back to the gift of connection here like you're just meeting people in general this looks like this could be networking and you could be in the center stage of something beauty queen um on stage adored shining getting some sort of attention all right and then wow you got all people courting man 
So somebody could definitely be wanting to come in and date you in the midst of all of this. Uniform, professional, uh, male. I'm seeing work here at the bottom of the deck. So what is going on? Okay, so single Aries, it just looks like you're going to be busy. <laughs> Doesn't mean love's not coming, but you're going to be get busy and getting a lot of attention. Okay, so maybe from both, both sexes as well. Like it could be platonic, it could be romantic. Let's see here. I'm also hearing people who are putting you in the right places. So, and you could be meeting someone through work. Okay. So people putting you in the right places and meeting someone through work. So let's take a look or your industry or your field. What's happening here for single Aries? Knight of swords, very busy, very busy. A lot of opportunities coming in, very focused. And six of wands, very much um, in the spotlight. That is that energy here. Very much being seen, chasing your goals, very successful, okay? Very successful, having a very successful period. Knight of cups, there is some romance coming in. Now the knight of cups is not a long-term commitment. This could be dating, someone expressing their love right? Sometimes it's love bombing if it's in the negative sense, but this could definitely just be someone saying, Hey, I want to take you out. Want to wine and dine you want to show you a good time. Let's see a little bit more. Knight of wands. Okay. Now that is more of just sexual encounters, but it also could just be having fun. Knight of wands, having fun, going out, dancing, socializing, being very much attention like in the in the spotlight being well, this is right underneath the beauty queen card being very much in the spotlight garnering a lot of attention fun exciting times i mean it doesn't have to just be sex it could just be going out and very very much interacting with a lot of people let's see here and then you have the king of swords so this could be courting man uniform professional this could definitely be this person coming in because King of Swords is like somebody who has a specific pr profession or expertise of some sort, right? They went to school for something or a trade of some sort, the businessman, and they're on their P's and Q's. So honestly, I am seeing this as you being busy, but I'm also seeing this as you being um, in the spotlight, a hot commodity, maybe in your profession or just in general in some way, shape, or form, but I'm also seeing people come towards you, a lot of people, because the tarot is reflecting the oracle messages. This is all people. This is all people. Let me make sure so you can see it, right? These are all people here, all people, okay? And then you, even though the Six of Wands is more of an action card, these are still all people, okay? In the tarot, not every card has... Well, no, not every card has a person, I don't think. Some do, but this one is like people, right? But what stands out to me the most is the King of Swords. Let's clarify that. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy, tell us about this. Hmm, Queen of Wands. Tell me about this King, Queen, King of Swords. Seven of Wands, Six of Pentacles. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands. Tell me about this. The Hierophant. Oh, tell me about the Queen of Wands. Page of Cups. Well, let me tell you this, not everyone that comes towards you is going to be worth your time. Just specifically with this King of Swords energy, this actually, tell me about the Hierophant. Tell me about the Hierophant, the Tower and the Fool. Tell me about the Fool. Tell me about this. Ten of Cups. And how would this turn out? Let me see. Not necessarily bad. I will say this, this King of Swords looks like they have baggage. I'm not gonna say that they're necessarily attached to anyone. 
if I would have to tell this story, this looks like somebody here that pursues you for, for sure. Okay. They may garner a lot of attention themselves specifically about what they do for other people. Like this could be a boss type of energy and they know their boss. They have some sort of wealth or standing, right? Some sort of financial gain or if I mean like financial standing and also some sort of um, attention they get through their profession, if that makes sense, right? This person gets attention through their profession and do they use that? Yes, it looks like this person uses that. They look like they're very confident, they're very charming, people like them. And I think you may be on guard because of that at first. Something may happen because the tower is here, but I feel like whatever happens, it actually changes your perspective about them because then I'm seeing an energy of a new beginning with the full card. The 10 of cups could possibly be a relationship of some sort and the will of fortune, a change in a positive direction. But I'm also seeing here the four of swords. Tell me about this. Yeah. So it's nothing that's like, it's not, I don't feel like it's anything that is, uh, oh, something's in my eye. Nothing that is long lived, but hmm, you're going to date. Okay. At the very least. Now I am seeing the death card in the four of wands. That kind of feels like somebody ends a relationship to be with you, but I still don't see it lasting. Okay. Not saying that they're in a third party, but something ends and they meet. Okay. King of swords could also be a divorced person. So they could be going through a divorce at the time. Um, but a person does kind of feel very, I mean, we all have ego, we all have ego, but maybe like they know they're in a good position. And so they really do use that to their benefit. All right. So that's what I have for you guys. I am going to pull a guardian angel card to close out the reading. All right, let's take a look. This is for Aries, sun, moon, Venus, and rising. This is for Aries. For the week ahead one advice what do we have self-criticism self-criticism fell right on top of desire so aries make sure that you're not criticizing yourself if you're trying to manifest specifically as well it says we your angels ask you to please be more compassionate towards yourself observe the items excuse me observe the times when you have critical thoughts about you and make an effort to replace these negative thoughts with positive loving ones you are a wondrous being of light. And even if at times you think you are less than perfect, remember that God and divine perfection exist in all things, including you. Okay, so that is what I have for you guys. Take care.